out of my way. No, 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 no. No. Oh, she did. Follow my lead. Not good. Okay, let's go down the elevator. Going down, down in the elevator. I really hope that we made the right decision. <laughs> Is everyone going crazy because she's crying? The pale figure with unnaturally long limbs covers her face with her hands, which are deformed like talon with talon like nails. Her deathly pale face is coated with blood that continually streams from her scarlet, misleaded eyes. The spiny gills, slightly hidden under her disheveled hair, twitch nervously at her approach. Only now do you notice the third eye on the young woman's forehead, hidden by a jeweled ornament. And when your eyes meet, you sense an overwhelming soul-smothering power. As the otherworldly creature's gaze slides over you, your entire course shudders in terror. Flashes past warp nightmares emerge from the shadows of your memory and paralyze your will. You gasp for air in terror, drowning under a crashing wave of pain. You cannot catch your breath. Hot tears burn your cheeks. Why is this happening? Why is it happening to you? Why do you feel so lonely and in so much pain? Do these feelings even belong to you? Adira admits something between a moan and a drawn out whimper. Ow, 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 as if my own little pals weren't bad enough. Now this one's barging into my head. Someone stop her. I am registering an abnormal activity in my tear ducts. The salt being produced by my body may ne negatively affect the performance of my respiratory apparatus. The vulnerability must be rectified if it has been logged. Heresy. Argenta looks at the tall figure with a strange mixture of anger and sadness. Then she lowers her head and the white hair veils her face. Abelard, is this Lady Cassia, I presume? The sun shall stares at the lady navigator's direction with a faraway look, then turns sharply away awkwardly and wipes at his eyes. Henrix, what is this heresy? The muscles of Heinrich's jaw twitches as he struggles to maintain self-control. This is one of the Nathus's noble lights, noble cast of muses who guide humanity's voices through the Tetris war. Now, rogue traders, stop asking stupid questions and go and no negotiate with your new navigator. Okay. Um... Let's try... Lady Cassie, I'm here to help you. Please calm yourself. Warily shakes her head and lets out a drawn out sound familiar, similar to a vocal sob and a howl of a small wounded animal. What is happening? Was someone calling my name? Are all the betrayers dead already? You, who are you? I am Titania von Shire von Valantius. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And he settles over her features and she nods cautiously. Pardon my man, Miss Titania von Shire. I did not expect to make such a gracious acquaintance at such a time of great sorrow for our house. What is this? I feel faint. Heinrich jerks abruptly as he intends to dawn, intends to dash towards, but someone else is quicker. The heavy set old man who has been kneeling nearby erupts into low sobs. His eyes swollen from crying, darts desperately around the room. As though the veil of ignorance has just been ripped away from them. The child. Lady Cassia, where are you? Sacred child, throne preserve. Despite this ven venerable age, Navigator leaps up and rushes to the young woman's side. You, the old man shifts, revealing his face. It is threaded with jet black veins, and his bulging, milky eyes bear a striking resemblance to those of a dead fish. The sickly sweet scent assaults your nostrils as if the old man's flesh is rotting inside his decaying husk. My eyes fail me, for they are unable to make you out as either enemy or ally. I am warning you, one wrong move will bring the wrath of House of Celio down upon your head. Watch out, Lord Captain, this one's so deranged is making a whisper shriek like crazy. 
He may just open that eye of his. Threatening the head of a dynasty is a grave offense to see whoever you are. Avalar places a hand on his weapon. Um, well, at present, I am trying to determine what's happening on Europe 5. I'll grant that you do not look like pirates who have come covert converting the riches of a wrecked station, or like scoundrels in Felix's service, so who are you? I got uh, I am Titania von Shire von Valencia, the rogue trader. Another rogue trader in our corner of the galaxy. How interesting. Your kind always makes an appearance in des desperate times, ready to cut a deal that benefits one side alone. Given that you have not so far drawn your weapons, your intentions are probably peaceful, and so House Cecilio now asks a service of you. Save the life of the child in exchange for future cooperations. But not hurry to answer, think on it. You can make yourself an ally or an enemy of our house today, you decide. What is the curse that has taken hold of everyone in this room? Theobald crowns. Curse. You do not understand the sacred gift given to our child. When the child is sad, we all weep. When the child smiles, we all laugh giddily. And if the child wants blood, the world turns crimson. The child's will is the will of the great Sisypho. For she is the heir of House um, of Celio. And they call me dangerous with my witchcraft. Uh, what service do you ask of me? Hope glimmers in the navigator's milky eyes. Save the sacred child. Take her away from the station. I fear I do not have long left. A bluish revolt trickles down the old man's chin, and he wipes the mutated blood br br brusquely away with his sleeve. You glimpse strange burns covering his flesh under his clothing. The slightest movement must be causing him unbearable pain. Save the child and deliver her safely to Regent Aronto, acting head of House Arcelio in the Coronis Expanse. Rest assured that the reward will be worth your efforts. I know we came here for the navigator, but after everything we've seen, I've got some rev reservations about this girl. Argenta looks at Cassia, and a painful furrow appears on her brow. Such a fragile thing with such a heavy burden upon her soldiers. I want to know what happens between you and Felic. Felic is my wayward student. He came to York 5 as a callow youth. I personally mentored him and entrusted him with the care of the child. He was like a son to me. But he proved to be just another traitor. He sought to steal out our most precious treasure, the heir of our house, our sacred child, to revel in the power with others like him, casting our house into the abyss to pervert the centuries-long tradition of our family. You can see the fruits of his villainy for yourself. He decided he was not bound by his duty to his legacy of our greatest house, Novadators. Tisiphon Orcelio, who led our house to prosperity for countless years, foolish boy, the renegades clouded his mind. They sought to seize the control of a dynasty before the sacred child had come of age and taken up the Novelator's throne. An interrogator looks from the unconscious Cassie at the Fearbold. I presume this Navis Noblite house has reasons for treasuring the child, other than uncontrolled outbursts of warp sorcery. What might those be, I wonder? A young, immature navigator who likely hasn't yet completed her training. Theobald interrupts him with an indignant shout, Enough! I will not have you question myself or my charges within the dominion of House of Celio. I don't accuse you of treachery, Theobald. No, 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 I trust this dude. But how could you lose control of your own station? Do not thrust my errors in my face. I am twice your age and twice as wise. Take my advice. Trust no one but yourself and the Emperor. In those closest to you will betray you for gold, power, or far-fetched idea of a bright future. Okay, well, you're talking as if you are expected to die here. Theobald shrugs indifferently. My service to the house has come to an end. The wounds Felic inflicted on my flesh will never heal. I am dying. Praise the throne. Slowly enough to see that the child is taken care of. You need help. There is Medicare on deck on my ship. But Theobald only shakes his head no. I am the keeper of Europe 5 and I will perish along with my station. And on that note, I have another other matters to attend to. But that of accused you of treachery. Theobald, why should I trust your words? Defending myself before strangers. I have never thought I would fall so low. The old man looks at the unmoving Cassie and shakes his head in res 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 resignation. The child's life were not at stake. 
but I have no choice or proof of my innocence. I can give you my word as member of the Navis Noble Light. If the honest word of an honorable man counts as for anything with you, I guarded the station against calamity and incursions from without to the best of my ability. I have forced the wardens to strictly observe security protocols. I personally selected every servant to faithfully protect the child during the coup. I believe I have made my decision. Is that so? Please share your thoughts. Cassia will come with me. I'll look after the kiddo. I like kiddos. That is good. The old man nervously licks his lips. But do allow us to say our proper farewells. Wake up, my mistress. My sacred child. It is all over now. It is over. <laughs> what? What happened? You. I remember you. Have you come to save us? Child, please listen to me very carefully. One last time. You will now embark on a voyage with this lady to rejoin the house and its regent in the Corollas Expanse. <coughs> I... I will not be able to accompany you on this journey. No! Not you too! Don't leave me alone in this violet-brown haze! You... You're coming with me! Your mistress is giving you an order! Do you hear me? A hot wave of despair that is not yours washes over you. Your palms sweat and your heart freezes in panic. Mistress, I fear this will be your only order that I dare to disobey. I am the keeper of Urak V, and alas, I have less than a day left in me. Allow me to serve you one last time and honor my final duty to House Orselio. I will remain on the station and destroy the secrets it holds. Oh, Theobald. The crimson tears stain the Lady Navigator's white skin once again, but this time her power does not make everyone weep along with her. I regret that we have to meet under such circumstances. What need have I for your regrets? I... I just want things... To go back to the way they were before. Cassia looks sorrowfully at the destruction around her. What? Um, what are you going to do to me? Lady Cassia, I, Titania von Shai von Plancius, rogue trader of the Imperium of Man, offer you my protection and grant you shelter aboard my vessel. Do not fear what is to come, child. You are ready to guide any vessel. I know this because I taught you myself. And it is difficult to imagine more worthy company than a rogue trader. But remember, your safety is of paramount importance. Get to the great regent and fulfill your destiny. I... As a Lady Navigator of House Orcelio, I accept your gracious offer of protection. Please, take me to your vessel. I can no longer bear the pain of this place. And... Oh wait, we have to... We have to get rid of someone! Uh... I'm sorry, dear. I love you, but you, you, you're host you could, you could, I don't know, you could erupt. Let's level this lady up then. No? Ha. Uh, so she is an officer. Oh, so she's the same as me. Okay. Uh, power. 
enemies damaged by navigator suffer because there's so much <laughs> there's so much uh enemies damaged by navigator suffers plus five additional damage for any source of warp damage bonus damage stacks for each hit inflicted that's kind of cool every turn the navigator gets an additional action point every odd turn the navigator gains Ooh. Every enemy the navigator has in the line of sight has its dodge and hit chance reduced. Navigator starts all turns including extra turns with three additional movement points. The first ally targeted by navigator with a single target ability each turn against the same amount of additional movement points. Mastery of time. Whenever an ally in combat gains an extra turn, navigator gains a stacking plus five bonus to willpower until the end of combat. Stacks up to five times the maximum 25. Navigator makes all resistance tests with the willpower. If it is higher than the base characteristic for such tests, the navigator's willpower is higher than their toughness. The navigator's wounds are calculated according to their willpower. Enemies affected by the navigator's powers suffer a stacking of minus 10 penalty to the next resistance test from the navigator's powers. The penalty is lost after such test is made. Pass on scathed. If the navigator's perception is higher than the agility and dodge calculate, okay. Do you know what, I kind of like, was it Eye of Oblivion? Every enemy navigator has in their line of sight has its dodge and hit chance. And I like that. But I wonder if she's going to be like a really squishy person. Never now I use a heroic act. Uh, I kind of like that one, yeah. So I didn't even look at the other ones. Like, I like that one. That one's. Um. After mini grants an ally additional MP equal to spell bonus target, can only move, use movement abilities, heroic acts of desperate measures. Okay. The game, the target's extra attack will ignore cover. Held in my gaze. Navigator deals. Not your purpose? Oh, it doesn't it square? The enemy close to that square immediately moves up to four cells towards it. If multiple enemies are in the same distance, reveal the light. Target ally gains their willpower. Okay. Waking nightmare. All enemies within the area suffers. Zone of fear. All creatures must pass willpower resistance that will immediately move out the zone, even if they are stunned or immobilized. Hmm. Hmm. Does um, I kind of like that one? What's that one? Oh, Chris. <laughs> uh, nice. All negative effects are immediately removed. Target gains. I like temporary wounds. Temporary wounds are the best. Commander voice is great as well to have again. Um, how's my gaze? Mend reality. Increases bear. Ooh! I hope that's what I think it is. Personal oversight. Whenever the officer targets an ally with an action, ability, or attack, the ally's resolve increases. But still resolve. So much levels. Okay. Are you all just gonna... Just hang out here. Good, good. She had a really nice freaking room, I tell you that now. I always keep my options open. Like a really nice room, so we can just leave. Oh, 
confused as to where she is. <laughs> I don't know, we've we'll kind of left her behind. I'm sure she'll follow, it's fine. I'm sure she's on her way. I hope I did the right thing. I think I did. Ready. Press the button. Oh, no buttons. No buttons this time. Lord Captain Lady Navigator, welcome aboard the Sanctum Navis has been prepared for the communion ritual, but if the Lady Navigator wishes to rest in her quarters first, your heart stops beating furiously, your breath comes short and choppy, and your fingertips tingle unpleasantly. You notice the Vigdis is shivering slightly, and the crew are glancing around in puzzlement, searching for the source of this sudden wave of unease. Oh! So I was meant to make a charm. But it broke. Oh, okay. Without even looking at the box, Master Cassia waves her away. First, I wish to speak with the rogue trader. Leave us. Uh, of course, when you are ready for the ritual, please let me know. Maybe I can ask her nicely not to do that. Cassia sweeps her pensive gaze over the Victus, then lowering her lashes slightly turns to you. What did you wish to speak about? After a few seconds hesitation, Cassia lets out a small exhale and then raises her pointed chin. I have not yet thanked you for saving me on the station. My thoughts were clouded with so much mournful ash when Theobald's heart stopped, but you acted honorably, did I? and did not exploit me in my wretched position, and for that I am immeasurably grateful. But now, Cassia throws back her shoulders, I am ready to go to the Sanctum Navis and perform the sixth rite. I require brushes, canvas, and the best paints you have on board, but no red. Why are you asking for these items? Now is not the time to indulge in painting. You are asking questions, the answers to which you cannot comprehend. Perhaps I may explain it all to you at a later time, but now our time is too precious to waste. As navigator of House Orcelio, I give you my word that without canvas and paint, we have little hope of a smooth journey through the warp. I have no reason to lie. I shall ensure that all necessary supplies are delivered to your sanctum. Cassian nods in thanks. I shall take my leave of you for the duration of the rite. I ask that you do not follow me. You can survive the gaze of my warp eye when it is open. Ooh. Lord Captain, I will oversee the open channel between the Lady Navigator and the bridge and may the Emperor's light help us all. Okay, does that mean we are leaving? Rikad. The Vox caster in the Sanctum Navis picks up the serration of clothes, pious chanting, and the metallic clicking of implants. Then the serene voice of the Lady Navigator breaks the signs, initiating communion ritual. You hear the exalted ring of metal freed from its scabbard. Then the stifled gasp of the Lady Navigator the rhythmic drip of liquid on canvas and the faint whisper of a brush. You see, violets, vortexes lashing an ocean with a million flails, and umber shadows spinning over the surface in a fiery dance, a storm rising above the foaming waters, armadas drowning in fog, but the path from one end to another cannot be seen. And here, 
beyond the wall of glass, a daughter forsaken by her father yearns for her brother, and the sun's pale disc goes in tireless pursuit of her. No, it's not. Since frozen rays lie that spring is here, the light is deadened. The great ruler is gone. The boxmaster recoils at Cassia's words and accidentally snaps one of the Cochrane Gate delivers. The panel beneath her fingers emits sparks and the boxcaster falls, falls silent. She quickly flips a series of switches and bows guiltily. My abject apologies for cutting off the broadcast, Lord Captain. I have never heard of warp speaking through a navigator before. The connection is restored now. It will not happen again. I, Boxmaster, see to it that you receive five lashes for this show of clumsiness. What is happening to Cassia? I'm sorry. Soul shredding screams drown out the Vox transmission. The servants in the Sanctum Navis are howling and shrieking like wild beasts, moaning in pain. Their throats roar from the strain, and then sudden silence. The dull thud of dropping bodies proclaimed their fate. It, it appears the servants were part of the Lady Navigator's right. As it was for her predecessor, I will arrange for the bodies to be removed from the Sanctum Navis after the ritual, or what is left of them. Rogue trader, I fear I had unfortunate news. Endless blackness has spread across the canvas, dividing what should be whole in two, and my sight cannot glimpse the light of the Emperor as clearly as before. I cannot turn around my brush, only draws me onward, the way is blocked. You hear a heavy exhale of rustling fabric and metallic clicking. By the Emperor's grace, the ritual was successful. Your vessel's temperament presented a challenge. Its cold steel grip did not allow me to breathe freely, even for a second. It was as if the depths of the ship housed not only machine spirits, but something other. Now I will retreat to my chambers to recover my strength. Send for me if you have need of me. Lord Captain, congratulations on acquiring a navigator. Spare me a few moments of your time, please. There are several matters that require your attention. So first of all, I want to report of the condition of the station of Yurt 5. Regrettably, we arrived too late to evacuate the residents of the station. The warp disruptions effect in Yurt 5 twisted the bodies and minds of its attendants. The corruption failed to affect Lady Cassidy, as thanks the Emperor. The navigators are trained to resist the Im Immaterium's pull. I would also like to remind you that the Governor Mender is still waiting to talk to you in his command centre. Of course he is. Uh, I'm flying out to meet the Governor immediately. Prepare my shuttle. Of course, Lord Captain. I've already done this. I don't understand why this is still... Maybe it's just a, a thing. Lord Captain, there is some commotion on the officer's deck. The Lady Navigator has left her quarters and is currently in the ward room, where uninitiate crew members are shunning her in terror. Perhaps she should find out what has brought Cassia to the deck. We shall find out. Lord Captain, my apologies. I... I did not notice your entrance. I see you are fond of reading. Oh, this. <laughs> I found this fascinating read on one of the shelves. And I must say, it has caught my eye. Its every chapter is written in verse. I find it so... Beautiful and enrapturing. Yurak V had a vast archive of its own, of course. Although most of the works within had to do with scholarly disciplines of some sort or another. Only in my sparse moments of respite was I allowed to escape into the pages of more embellished works. Cassie gently brushes the dust of the cover with her thin, clawed hand, her eyes filled with longing after reminiscing about her lost home. The events that took place at Europe 5 must have shaken you greatly. Are you well? 
One should not underestimate the navigators of House Orcelio, Lord Captain. Like a shawl of pale smoke, a faint malaise hangs upon my shoulders. But it will not be the slightest hindrance to my duty to humanity, and my duty to you. Perceived response is reserved and pointedly dis decorous, clearly intended to create a distance between you. Uh, are you satisfied with your new attendants? Your servants are somewhat sluggish when it comes to attending a noblewoman of the Navis nobility, but they are quite tolerable. Thank you for your concern. Cassie cringes over ever so slightly, adjusts the adornments on her foreheads, and awkwardly hides her clawed fingers in the folds of her clothes. The unnatural appearance of the navigators often become the topic of gossip among the lowly servants and officers alike. It is clear that she does not feel comfortable aboard a ship teeming with new people. I hope that you have find, had ample time to calm yourself in your powers. There are people on this ship who are far more impulsive and dangerous to others, and far less devoted to the God Emperor than a herald of the Navis Nobility. Hmm. But I did not need your words to see the shades of umber unease that whirl around your subjects whenever I am near. Were I not acquainted with such a reaction, I could have found their behavior in your question just now insulting. Well, I had no other options. <laughs> Lord Captain, would you kindly explain to me why you are pestering me with these questions? Inquiring about my mood and my needs, showing an interest in the books I am enjoying? You are behaving as if you possessed a shred of fellow feeling for one such as I. I beg your pardon, Lord Captain. That was no way for a navigator to conduct herself. I really want to be nice to her because you know she can she can charm me and you know, <laughs> do her sorcery on me. Um, but at the same time, I don't want to be completely like I, I want to keep being the noble, which leads me to turn around and say quite right. So I would ask you to mind what you say from now on. But at the same time. Like, I don't know how old this kiddo is. Ah! <sighs> See, when I play these types of games, I too like to try and be nice and good, but at the same time, I'm like, you know, this is, this is Warhammer, you know? This is the grim dark. Sometimes being nice is not good. I'm doing it quite right, so I would ask you that you mind what you say from now. Yes, I... I understand. I offer you my apologies once more. <laughs> Fate and fortune favor the bold. That's so awful. <laughs> I'm trying not to take that. Uh, okay, we'll do. I do. I feel really bad. the worst.
Okay. <laughs> Is there money to be made? I do. I feel like the worst person ever. Do you require inquisitorial approval? But she had to be put in her place. She couldn't talk to the Lord Captain like that. But at the same time, I really appreciated her candor and she, you know, but she's the mutant. She navigator who does actually deserve some respect as well. But the, no, I'm just a bad person. I'm building the screen for another, but we're gonna go and see the Lord Captain. See what he not the Lord Captain. Well he is the Lord Captain in himself, isn't he? He's the governor. Isn't he like a rogue trader himself? We'll level you up when we can. We're gonna bring we're gonna bring can we bring? Yeah, we're gonna bring him. We'll see. Oh, I hope oh, <laughs> I hope Dara doesn't think we've like replaced her. But she did say she usually spends a lot of her time on the ship, so yeah, um, she's happy on the ship. Oh, I guide humanity between the stars. You do, you're amazing. And I'm sorry I was mean to you. Always keep your eye on the prize. Wait, can we talk to you first? Because you know. Yep. Wait. trade with him, but all of a sudden he doesn't even trade. Greetings again, your ladyship. Governor Mendo offers Henrik's somewhat strange smile, Master Vo Van Kalox. It's a pleasure. It pleases me to see you in good health. I hope that you accomplished uh, what you intended to at the Electrodynamic Synobium. The interrogator nods without saying a word. After an uncomfortably long pause, Mendo clears his throat and quickly turns to you. I can't express how grateful I am for your help. Now that the insidious heretics' designs have been thwarted, nothing stands in the way of my plans or yours. With Aurora dead, the spirit of revolt is waning, and tight squads of rebels, of rebels, rebels, rebels are surrendering. We are witnessing the final days of, our, of the uprising. I have already signed the order to allocate 2,000 first-class void bearers to you. Their transfer to your ship should begin any minute now. I would also like to salute the savior of Reichhead Menoris, and I have already a festive celebration to be held in my honor. Sorry, your honor. <laughs> we will celebrate your victory with an ancient custom, the triumph. We will drive through the city streets accompanied by a guard of honor, as befit the heroine who was vanquished the Imperium's enemies. While your trophies will be displayed to the jubilant crowds, let me know once you have concluded your business in the system and are ready for a triumph to begin. Governor Mendes is positively ablaze with enthusiasm. Uh, well, um, I, I guess I'm ready for my triumph. Excellent. We'll see each other at the square then. May the light of the throne be with you. Okay. Then let the triumph begin. Fly to the upper way. I get a big parade by name. Yay! <laughs> oh, here it goes! Or am I just gonna master of ceremonies? Okay. 
your ladyship, peerless lady von Palantius, I am Master of Ceremonies at Rykard Menoris. Everything is in place for your triumph. Allow me to give you a brief summary of the upcoming event. Speak. You will take the road now familiar to you from here to the starport. You will be accompanied by your comrades in arms and a guard of honor. The body of the heretic known as the Prophet Aurora will be pulled in your wake as a battle trophy. A stop is planned in the middle of the road. There, grateful citizens will rush towards you, praising you for your salvation. For their salvation. Not to worry, this is fairly choreographed interlude. The group of grateful people will be composed exclusively of loyal citizens vetted by us. Members of the military, young people, attractive and physically fit, and a few healthy children. So basically, I get to paddle and kiss a lot of kids on, on the cheek. <laughs> Once they have said their praise, the procession will move on. Governor Mendo will await you by the starport. This is also where the pyre has been built for burning the body of the heretic known as Aurora. You will be handed a flamer, blessed by the representative of the Ecosolar... I, I still can't say that freaking word. Um, you can choose to personally perform the burning, but if you wish to underscore the amicable alliance between House von Valencius and House Winskill, it would be a fitting to pass the honor to burning to the burning to Governor Menda, however, the choice is yours. Wait, wait, I did all the work. He hid in his freaking command bunker. Okay, well, do you know what? It's an excellent plan. I'm ready to start my triumph. This is my first time playing it. I am definitely doing a triumph. Of course, your ladyship. Okay. Shall we, guys? Rise to the top or get left in the dust. Getting on a freaking tank. This is gonna be great. We just wave. Oh no, we don't wave. Okay, sorry. Oh, we do wave. Okay, we do wave. Make way, let us greet the heroine. A small group of festively dressed people rushes towards you. Choose the group of planted adulators to approach you. <laughs> Choose it, someone chose it for me. Glory to the Von Valencius dynasty, glory to Titania von Shire, heroine of Rikard Menorius. A stately, beautiful, and finely dressed woman calls out your name in a sonorous voice. It isn't until you take a closer look at her face that you recognize her as the Captain Raquel, the pilot you met on Rikafilia. Fair enough. The grateful citizens wish to present their gifts to the Redeemer. The Master of Ceremonies' sugary voice almost brings a taste of honey to your mouth. For whatever reason, you know for certain that the, right at this moment, the gaze of Aurora's dead, empty socket is fixed upon the back of your head. A thought surfaces in your mind, not a voice inside your head. No, a mere thought. They are all going to die, befuddled, deprived, never have seen the truth. And it is all because of you, enemy of mine. Oh my god. I could look like an absolute crazy woman and be like, It's gonna some or we could be like really cool and be like, yeah, take my take my gift. Shut the oh turn around. I'm gonna turn around. Mm, no. Oh, I don't know. Ah! Address the soldiers in the cordon. Stop the ceremony. Take the people away. Something terrible is about to happen. 
The soldiers in the court exchange perplexed glances, but their trained discipline prevailed and they turned towards the spectators, preparing to lead the crowd away. I, I'm sensing something boundless, blue, golden, dark. The grimace contorts Henrik's face. The interrogator lifts her hands in his temple as though struck by a sudden migraine. What? Behold. Behold. Behold the final dawn. I am not a crazy woman. I am not crazy. They didn't all die though. Did we save the people? I wonder if we just like, we didn't get to burn our body. just went back I'll make an example out of you let the blood flow uh, um I don't know I feel like Okay. Easy peasy, right? Let's just not stand in this. Whatever this is. Pilot Racco, you should really get out of here. Um. Navigator, I'm not even entirely sure where she should be standing. Weather the storm. No, 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 you could die. Don't do this to me. My place is at the fall. It will be done. At your beck and call. But of course, Lord Ken. Mm. <laughs> Get me a target. At your target. I won't object. Your reckoning is due. Be gone. I don't know what this means. I still don't know what the ghosties mean. So if I shout, I'll do it. BB. Doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. No, I think it's just. I should have used the. Icon? 
Oh, right. If I may. Oh, she decreases it, so that's good. Okay. Um. Terms of fate, target gains. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. Death to the weak! Ah! I am oh, your so doom! Oh. Pathetic! I'm a mentor. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's move here. I don't know why I moved here, but we're moving here so we can bop him. On it. Ah! Uh, I'm gonna make... Who, if not me? Exactly. Who, if not you? I'll make it happen. And then, oh. Well. Yep, you we'll should it, feel we'll honored to witness this. God Emperor, move yeah. through me. Be so the fire I, in my heart. Everyone. We're doing it again. Hopefully she doesn't miss, because that would be embarrassing. Is that all the goes I'm getting? Faith without deeds is worthless. And then I'll alone. do it. Follow my lead. Where are you going? Done. I mean, fair enough. Hell. I bring ruin. Why are you? Why would? Why? I don't understand. Why are you standing in your own coop? Um The old Messiah knows all, comprehends all. I'm just gonna block him. Request approved. I'm a mentor. And then his arm! Activate force mode sacrament. <laughs> My vow is to serve. Is the will of chaos. Did you? Uh, that was neither, by the way. Out what? of my way. <laughs> I've got attached to an empty. Death to non-believers. Stay <gasps> vigilant. I won't go down easy. Guides me. Crush the feeble. Chaos guides me. Death to the weak. Break them around. Okay, good. Out of my way. No, oh, no, 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 she did. Follow my lead. Not good. Not the button. It will be done. Poor Raquel. She died. I will do my duty. One fewer target. At your back and call. Let's Died. see it. For the throne, your reckoning is due. I I just I I'm I'm devastated. <laughs> Devastated. This is unacceptable. Uh, Doubt is for the weak. Absolutely devastated. <laughs> I 
am a navigator, not a servitor. As the Emperor commands, I act. Accustomed to being ordered around. No, but you're you're doing it. Target gains. I suppose we should stop moving. I don't think we've got any more. Avoid this purpley stuff. Naturally. Be gone, Hammerman. I feel the power surging. Okay, my keyboard, I think, is on its last left. <laughs> I think my keyboard just died. Yeah, I think my keyboard may be alive now. It is. Um. The Emperor is on our side. I'm going to do some. Empty strengths. And I'm gonna wait. No, no, that's fine. But of course, the Inquisition Take sends that. their regards. And, Let's and, see and, to and, it. And, 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 and I may have just used my own point, which I should not be sanctioned to do this. It's fine. Death to non believers! <laughs> And your doom. Follow my lead. What the <sighs> that thing with the purple stuff? Stop it. <clears throat> Throne, take you. The scriptural prognosis is favorable. The Omnisire knows all, comprehends all. At the ready. Pew pew. I missed. Oh well, they they can't all be crack shots. <sighs> okay. Um. Indeed. Indeed. <sighs> I love him so much. At your beck and call. Like I was gonna be like the biggest the one the in, his, in his side, but I kind of I kind of do decided I don't want to be a <sighs> Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Like originally, I was going to be like, you know what? I'm going to be a thorn in your freaking side and be a pain in your butt. But you know what? I kind of like you. I'm not going to do that. So, what? You can't do that. For the throat. the winded effect. So yeah. I'll do Check it. Out. As the Emperor commands, I act. 
Guided by faith! not to cross my gaze. Me? If you insist, Lord Captain. I got it. Um... I am ready for whatever comes. I think I've already done all this to him. I'll see to it, personally. I refuse. Why do you refuse? I won't stand for it. Fine. I'm gonna shoot right for him, though. I'm in this. What about you guys? You, you Who guys is not me? Here, you guys have another go. Yeah. Here, have, have some buffs. No, but the world stands in hot. I Oh my God, my what? What do you mean? <laughs> Stuff equals death, and you're running into it. So Victory is imminent. <laughs> One few attack. It will be done. We'll rule the stars themselves. No, 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 A tactically sound approach. So I can bonk him. I took care of this one. I'd rather not. Let's see to it. I won't object to it. Let's see to it. I'm done with this one. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone! Doubt is for the weak. Don't stand in the purple stuff, okay? I don't need luck. Yeah, I have I'm strategy. Okay. Oh, what about... Do you have oh, do this, but not I'm by sorry, match. I didn't mean to hit you, but... It's, it's as good as done. <laughs> I won't do that. Combi comes alive. Vigdis voice struggles to get through the thundering static. Lord Time, this is Master. Please immediately send a. Uh, Vigdis, what is going on? Def 
perseverance, repeat. I shall fear no darkness, for light is within me, the light of my faith in thee. I shall flee before no enemy, for there is no enemy more terrible than cowardice, and I shall overpower it. Argenta prays aloud, all the while checking her equipment with death, with death fingers. Red, black, red, black. Lots of blinding white fear. The whole city's quaking. No, the whole world. Let's talk more action. What figures say I'm doing, Captain? Are they going to send a shuttle for us? We must move out towards the starport at once. The shuttles aren't going to find us here, even if the comms link stabilizes, which won't. Uh, we are en route to starport. Star... Fat... The star... Penning... The... Appearance of star from... Vacuate... Comes full silent. Many eyes stare at you. Oh my gosh. It looks like I'm going to end up as an icon class, but you know what? We're not abandoning people in the show. I'm still a rope trader. And I know I do everything in my power to like push and, you know, explore new territories and gain more land. And But you can't do that without people. So we're going to, we're not abandoning people in the space. Everyone can come with us. Jasper and I must, but she's blind. Oh, she's blind. Great. Now I'll she died. No, Jasper and I must get weapons, any weapons. We'll catch up with you at the start point. We might even pick up some people from the garrison or civilians along the way. The sense of alarm is now almost physically drilling through your temples. The fleeting little whispers at the edge of your hearing are sinister and gleeful. Uh, does anyone have any idea what just happened? Final dawn, Argenta says furiously. We stopped short of puzzling out the enemy's entire plan. Oh, Emperor, forgive us for this negligence. I swear we will find a way to write it. Only an incomplete picture. Henrik sounds deadly serious. Every warp active person on this planet is sensing the presence of sorcery. It's rising like a tsunami. I've hardly ever encountered anything like it in a real space. And most remarkably, the sorcery is still growing. I cannot, however, say what set off this reaction or where the light has gone. A chill runs down your spine. You seem to feel the war's gaze upon you once again. But it is not coming from her corpse any longer, but from everywhere. Right, that's it. Let's move out. Get off you. It's me. Yeah. Gosh. You had to go standing in there. Oh my god, Raquel. Quick your ship. You have to leave this planet. I'm leaving, okay? I'm leaving. First things first, I'm gonna say, because oh my gosh, that was freaking intense.